This is the Flame Streak Box Crab, Calapia flamma, and it's a very unusual creature that has a very special adaptation that we're going to talk about. First of all, look at the claws. It has these great big pinching claws, and that's one of the reasons that fishermen call them rooster crabs, is perhaps because the head looks like a rooster. But you see these claws are adapted for sitting here and chopping up shells. They can go into a hermit crab and peel it open like it's a uh, can, with the, this is like a can opener. And these are extremely sharp. If this was alive and I got bit by this, it would be in a lot of trouble. Well, this, is a, uh, this was a hermit crab that fell victim to one of the uh, flame streak box crabs. And what the crab does is it opens it up like a, like a can opener with its very sharp claws. It's almost like a scissors. So it sits there and chews it and follows the whirl all the way around until the crab is very much exposed. And then it reaches in and it just rips the crab out and shreds it and eats it. So in order to use these claws, and open them up, they have to have special ways to adapt. And they're also called shamefaced crabs because they will actually put their face, their, their claws over their face that way as if they're shamed. And um, that creates an interesting adaptation. If this is the way it normally lives, because it has to be able to breathe. So in order to be able to breathe and to respire and pull in oxygen, it can't do that in the blocked areas like a regular crab does. So it has a special adaptation where it's going to be able to spurt water through a tube out the top of its head. And then this crab will also use these claws, massive claws, to bury down into the sand and completely disappear. So that you could be potentially swimming or even walking over a sandy beach and you could be stepping on top of these crabs and never know that they were down there. And the claws, by the way, are absolutely delicious. This is one of the best eating crabs that there is. Not the rest of the crab, although that makes a, certainly a good uh, gumbo or soup, but this thing is just jam packed with meat. And fishermen know that when they uh, catch lots of these things, which they do for a very brief time of the year, they tend to break off the claws and cook the claws. And these things are, in my opinion, even better than stone crab claws.